Hello everybody, my name is Tom Coyle and I'm here to talk to you today about what to do when you're trying to buy a drone. Now this is the drone I bought. It's the Unique Breeze. What I liked about it is it had a great HD camera on par with the real expensive drones, but this one costs significantly less. You see when you're buying a drone you want to look at a few things. You want to look at uh, how easy is it to control. For instance, this drone here, the reason, one thing I like about it is if it's just flying somewhere and you're not comfortable, let go of the controls, it will just go straight and level. Press the home button, it will return to the point it took off from. So that's one positive feature. This one's pretty durable. But other things you want to look about, other things you want to consider rather, flight time. How long is the thing going to fly? This thing only flies for about 12 minutes. For the things I like doing, that's not a problem. But you may want more flight time, and that's okay. Range. This, this drone is pretty much a line of sight drone, which means I have to see it to control it. Now there are drones out there you can put on the, uh, the, the goggles and you can fly this thing and you, you, don't, you can be miles away. But for me, that's not what I was into. So those are the big things you have to look for. And also cost. I wanted something low cost because, you know, in case I crash this thing, I didn't want to, have to, sit, I didn't want to be out thousands of dollars. So this is great. In fact, one thing I liked about this drone is I actually crashed it into a brick wall, picked it up, and it flew again. So this thing's really durable right here. So I really like it. It's got some modes like follow me where it can you know, pinpoint myself as a target, ride my bike, and the drone follows me. Uh, so you have to look at the various features that are out there. So really when it comes down to it, the, the big things that keep the cost down are flight time, camera, line of sight, altitude. And so this drone right here compromises on flight time, altitude, and distance. At the same time, you get a camera on par with the more expensive drones. And because for me, the camera was the most important thing. Now maybe for you, you just want to race your drone. Like I, I've, I've, my nephew likes racing his drone around and him and, his, him and his brother race it through the house, race it outside. So things like a camera aren't very important to him. So look at the camera, look at the things, talk to folks. but. Really, you're looking at, you know, what, what do I want to use this drone for first and foremost? What am I going to be doing with this? And if you are the person who will be flying this thing for hours and hours, the Unique Breeze may not be the one for you. But if you want a good camera, you, know, you can take some selfies. It comes with a nice hard case. Check this out so you can throw it in your backpack, travel with it, and it's going to be kept safe. And maybe this is something to look at. I'll be having a guidebook coming out with all you need to know about what to look for when buying a drone. After all, it can be a pretty significant investment, depending on what you're looking for. That's it. I hope you enjoyed this, and I look forward to interacting with you on your drone journey.